Hello and welcome to Automatic Checkboxes. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. How can I create a checkbox that gets self-checked based on the value of another cell? And I'm gonna answer that question in this short video. Exercise one. Microsoft recently introduced the checkbox control. This is a recent update, so depending on your version of Excel, you may or may not have this checkbox control. But basically how it works is you select the range and then you insert a checkbox. Now this checkbox is in the cell and we can manually check these or uncheck them as desired. And I like to think of this really as simply a format that's applied to the cell. And the format controls what we see, just like other cell formatting, but behind the scenes, the stored value is a Boolean true or false value. In other words, when I select this cell and I look at the formula bar, I can see that it is stored a value of true. And if I select one that's unchecked, I can see that the stored value is false. In fact, if I were to just type true, true, false, false in some cells, and then apply the checkbox, we can see that's exactly what happens. So I like to think of this checkbox as really a cell formatting. And when we check the checkboxes, it updates the stored value accordingly. And now that we have our warm up, let's go to the next exercise where we can answer the question of how do we create a automatically checking checkbox? Exercise two. Now the cool thing is that we can apply checkboxes to empty cells, but we can also apply them to formula cells. And when there's a checkbox format on a formula cell that returns a true or false value, the checkbox is gonna be updated accordingly. In this case, an order is considered complete when the status is either canceled or shipped. So we need to write a formula that returns true or false depending on if the order is complete. So let's start on that. Equals, does the value here equal canceled? Enter. Let's fill this formula down and we can see that this formula returns true when an order is canceled. Otherwise, it returns false. So far, so good. But we need to consider two statuses, canceled and shipped. So to do this, we're gonna wrap the OR function around our existing formula. And the OR function will return true if any of its arguments are true. And similarly, we have an AND function that returns true only when all of its arguments are true. In this case, we want OR if C10 is equal to canceled, or if C10 is equal to shipped. Close function and enter. And now let's fill this updated version down. And now we can see this formula returns true when an order is canceled or shipped. And that's exactly what we want. With our formula working, all we need to do is apply the checkbox format and we got it. Now, if this order goes to shipped, this checkbox automatically checks itself. And that's exactly what the question was. How do I create a checkbox that automatically checks itself based on the value in a different cell? Now, the question then is, can I check this checkbox? And the answer is no. If there's a formula underneath here, I can't manually change this checkbox. I can't click it or check it or update it. It's being updated by the formula. But we can do even more. So let's go to the next exercise, exercise three. Here, we want a checkbox that automatically checks itself if the order needs review. And it needs review if it's greater than $500. Then we want to have a checkbox that a manager can check once they've reviewed the order. Then we want an automatic checkbox to check if it's okay to process the order. So we'll take it one step at a time. Does this need review? It needs review if it's greater than 500. So equals, is this greater than 500? And let's go ahead and fill this down. And we confirm that looks good, so we can convert this into a checkbox. And now we have a check if this order needs review. Now, we want the manager to check if they've reviewed this order, so we simply select the range and apply this checkbox. And now we can check these orders as they are reviewed. And now, is it okay to process? Well, we need a formula that returns a true or false value. So equals if. If this is true, it means it needs a review. So we want to return the value from here. That's either going to be true or false if it was reviewed. Otherwise, it doesn't need review, so it's okay to process. Close function and enter. And now let's fill this down. And now we can apply the checkbox. Okay, let's see if it works. Does this order need review? No, it does not. 
So is it okay to process? Yes, it is. Does this order need review? Yes. Is it reviewed? No. So is it okay to process? No. But what if I check the reviewed checkbox? Then it's okay to process. So far, so good. Does this need review? No. Is it reviewed? No. Is it okay to process? Yes. Does this need review? Yes. Is it reviewed? No. So it's not okay to process. And we can see that is true for all of these. But once we review it, then it's okay to process. So that's how we can set up a checkbox that gets automatically checked based on the value in another cell or in other cells. When there's a manual checkbox, when we check it, the stored value gets updated to true or false. And if we apply the checkbox format to a formula cell, it automatically checks itself when that formula returns true. Hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user. If you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 